Okay guys, welcome to day two, focusing all on the waist. Okay, so to begin, you're gonna be facing me on your knees and we're gonna be doing Exercise. oblique knee touches. So all I want you to do is slide down your legs, try and get your hands to touch your knees and just pushing the body to one side, really engaging your obliques here. So you don't wanna be tilting forward or back, you wanna stay in a nice neutral position, core engaged, really feel that connection as you crunch down to the side. That's it. Keep smiling, keep thinking about those waists. Excellent, keep pushing through, keep pushing through, keep breathing. Excellent work. Okay, now let's come down on to the floor. I want you to be sitting on your bum for this next movement. So your feet are gonna be placed on the floor and then you're gonna lift them up. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tap, tap and tap. So you're gonna be tapping straight down and then you're gonna be tapping across the body. Now, if this seems too complex, please just tap the opposite ankle across the body. That might be easier for some of you. And again, if you need a modification, you're welcome to just keep your feet on the floor and then just stretch down towards the ankles. So this is a really great move at working all of the abs. You're really working on the core stability here and balancing while sitting on the bum. And then the twisting action is going to help to, of course, get those obliques and the waists. So keep going. You don't need to go as fast as me either. Please just go at your own pace. Excellent work. Okay, let's come down onto our backs for the next movement. So the next move is going to be slow bicycles. So with this move, what you want to do is you want to bring that knee in towards your chest. You want to grab it with your hands by the shins and the knees. Really squeeze here and make sure every time you're twisting that upper body, you're lifting those shoulder blades off of the floor. I really want to help get into those obliques and the top side of your abs. That's it, amazing work. Keep those toes pointed. You don't have to drop your leg very far. As you can see, mine aren't going all the way to the floor. That's it, keep going. Amazing work. Okay, so now we're going to be really getting into the obliques a little bit further and the waist. So we're going to be going onto a side plank, but don't worry, the knee is going to be underneath so we are assisted. Now what we're going to do is we're going to almost thread the needle through. So with your arm, you're going to lift it up and you're going to rotate it to go through underneath your chest. So this rotation is really going to help to get into the waist area. And the plank here is also going to be working the other side of the abs as well. So arm straight up, twist it under, and then back up again. Great work, keep pushing through. Keep breathing, keep that core nice and engaged. Excellent, we're going to be repeating that now again on the other side, so same cue, same exercise, other side. So you want one leg underneath, you want to come up, and now you want to lift that hand up above you, rotate it right underneath the chest, keeping that core nice and tight. Keep going, keep going, keep that core engaged. Come on, breathe through, twist underneath. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. Amazing, keep going, keep going. Not long left. I don't care if you think I'm a clown. I 
Excellent work. I know this is tough. Okay, so for the final move, you're going to be on all fours and we're going to be going into fire hydrants. Now, fire hydrants are a really great exercise again to target the obliques and also target the side of the booty. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend the knee, you're going to lift it to the side and when you get it to a nice level, you're just going to lift that leg and kick it out. Now the range of motion on here does not have to be high. You can see that I'm not going super high. I don't have a lot of flexibility on this side. So the key with this move is you do not want to be rotating your hips. You want your hips to be facing the floor. You want your core to be tight and engaged. And you just want to lift that leg up, kick it out and bring it back down. This move is all about the quality here, not the quantity. Keep pushing through, keep going. Excellent work. Okay, so now we just repeat that on the other side and then you guys are done for the day. Okay, so let's suck that core in and then let's repeat. So lift the leg up, keep it to the side and down. Lift it up and down. Excellent work, keep going. It. don't twist those hips keep that core engaged hips facing the floor and feel that connection with the glutes and that is it guys well done i'm so proud of you so guys, that's the end of the workout. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel because it really does help. And I hope you guys are enjoying this free 30 day challenge. If you are, do not forget to join the free community that I have given you guys access to. That gives you access to me personally so you can ask me anything that you like. We're a community full of amazing people where we're gonna be inspiring, motivating, and supporting one another, sharing our top tips, hacks, recipes, nutrition, you name it we're all going to be doing it inside this app so make sure you join now for free in the description box below yeah.